The Honorable Minister, good to have you on Sports tonight. Thank you very much, Austin Okon Akpan. Good to have you. We waited and waited for you, but we're glad to have you. We will talk to you tonight and then continue this discussion next week. But tell me, Honorable Minister, after the Absolutely. technical sessions in Abuja, how important is it for us to make sports a business? It is extremely important, like I said, for our 2020 budget going forward, we have two key challenges, which is, which is to grow a new, rev, new revenue streams for the economy, but also to create jobs. That has been the charge from President Mohamed Buhari, and I think that I've said it repeatedly, sports, turning sports into viable business gives us the opportunity to create jobs for the mass of our population, particularly the youth, but also can grow a new revenue stream for our country. And we have benchmarks of countries across the world, from North America to Canada to Europe, that have turned sports into viable business in, in the past 20 years. And I think it's about time Nigeria really started to do that, to drive it by policy, through incentives, infrastructure, investment. And I think we have started to do that from the meetings we've held in the last two days here in Abuja. Awesome. I see you also mentioned infrastructure, really, really important. How are we going to give that an approach? Let's start with the MK Abiola Stadium in Abuja, bring it back to Lagos, where the National Stadium has been begging for attention. What sort of approach are you giving to infrastructure? Austin, I think the biggest approach is to bring private participation into the management, the upgrade, and of course the maintenance of our various stadiums and sporting facilities across the country. As it is, I can say the Ministry of Youth and Sport is already test running this. And that is why we have someone already committed to bringing back the football pitch, the scoreboard, and the lights at the Moshuda Biola Stadium in Abuja. That for Lagos is at the point of concession we have approval from the president, President Mohamed Buhari, to concession. In the next one month, we should see the bid documents out there, and then we can have full private participation in bringing back the national stadium. Similar plans called adopt a camp adoption campaign, adopt a pitch, is going on. And we'll have, like I said, by March next year, we should have four big stadiums in the north, Kaduna, in Ibadan, Lagos and Abuja up and running to some extent. And we intend to go ahead, like the work we've done, Interministerial Technical Committee, about five different ministries, working with the e NESG. They have done work in the last eight months. In the last two months, we have worked very closely together. And just tonight, after two days of volunteer work, experts from different fields, we're able to come up, as you can see, Austin, mm. This is the document, so we'll the interim pause. report uh, Honorable of Minister, turning sports we'll... into a viable industry. Beautiful. We will just pause. Sadly, sadly, we need to end the show now. Next week, clear your calendar. Just keep it open for us. Nigerians need to Ab hear this. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much, Absolutely. Honorable Minister. Thank, thank you. you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alfred Okoligwe, thank you too for your time. I already like what I'm hearing. We'll continue that next week. And to you, wherever you are in the world, thank you so much for your time. Let's do this again next week. But until then, in everything you do, remember, let's keep talking. Sports. Bye for now.